my dad hates my uncle, but my uncle's always been good to me and he wants to keep good relations with me. What do I do? Al Maghrib Institute presents Q&A with Sheikh Abu Isa Ni'matullah. We all know about the situation, some Baradri, any issue, some jaga, some land was taken when they were 15 years old and he skanked him and he went for the visa and he didn't marry his daughter and all that. We have all these problems and headaches yani, in our big extended families, the sizes of absolute populations of countries. It's a huge political minefield having to deal with them. But there are some legal issues here as well. Because keeping your father happy and content is an obligation intrinsic in of itself, something which is obligatory. It is punishable by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make your father feel uh, dishonored, disrespected and, and all the like, unless it involves a disobedience to Allah. And it is actually disobedience to Allah if you were to boycott your uncle because your father is boycotting him. Now, I want you to listen carefully. If your father is boycotting your uncle, that does not give you legitimacy to you boycott him as well. That is something between them that they that they should be able to work on and you should be able to help helping. And there's an art and a skill to that and rules in fiqh that even allow you to play with the truth a little bit. We'll be talking about that in Protect This House as well. But ultimately, relationships need to be kept separate. And your uncle has a haq upon you. Your father's brother, whatever their disagreements, has a haq upon you. And you have to look after them and support them and care for them and be there when they need you. But what are the parameters of this treatment? Where are the limits? What can they expect from you? What can they demand from you? How much money? How much visitation? What kind of hours? That is a huge area that the, the fuqaha yani, regulated and spoke about. And we will cover that in the fiqh aspects of the class. But there is a caveat that I want you to understand very, very carefully. Sometimes you can get played. We always get played by these elder statesmen of our family. They sometimes only want you to be in contact with them to spite the warring family member, i.e. he will say to his brother, your father, that you're useless, your son is better than you. Shame on you that you can't fix yourself. He comes to visit me. His intention is not to actually maintain ties of kinship with you, but his intention is evil to try and hurt the brother and to split the family further. So it's not just all very simple. There are nuances and caveats you need to be aware of. And in this case, yes, you would also boycott your uncle. You would also stay away. You would also not put yourself in a situation where you uh, expose your father or when you fall in, or lead yourself to fall into sin or putting others into sin. So there's a lot more detail here. And inshallah, we'll be discussing this in the family section of Protect This House, which is about these relationships and their details.